Hey, how's it going, YouTube? So, in my earlier video when I put these wheels on, people commented about the fender being a different color than the rest of the body. And basically, in those comments, I replied that this fender was actually repainted by myself. I would bought a used fender and it was the wrong color, and so I actually spray painted this myself. And as you can tell, for the most part, the finish on it is pretty good. There's a little bit of orange peel, but I didn't have a polisher before, so the job wasn't completely perfect. But if you step back, obviously you can tell that the fender is not the right color, and it's a little bit too dark. So what I actually had was this paint made up in just a tad lighter, and basically I'm going to do a series on how I actually paint the fender and get it installed onto this car. In person, the difference in color is noticeable, but it's definitely not as drastic as it is showing up on camera. But let me show you guys the setup that I have for this project. So this is the box that the new fender came in. And one of the dumb things that I did before was buy a used fender and try and fix it up. But it had a bunch of scratches and it even had a little bit of a dent in it. So that's why it doesn't look perfect on the car. But here I decided to just buy a brand new fender. This is already primered. And what I'm going to do is do an entire series on this process of painting this fender. As I do this project, I'll let you guys know of any things you should look out for if you're planning to do the same project. And we'll see how this thing turns out. I have good hopes for this. So the first thing that I'm going to do as expected is wipe down fender completely. This fender is already primered in black. And so after wiping it down, what I'm going to do is just scuff it up with a scotch bright pad and then I will start putting on the base coat. One of the very important things to note is that I am definitely not a professional and some of the techniques that you see me do, I am sure that people are gonna call me out and say that I did this wrong or that wrong, but that's part of making YouTube videos is even if you're doing everything right, you're gonna be told that you're doing something wrong. Surely I am gonna do stuff wrong and that's why I like to read the comments on people who tell me what I'm doing wrong. Uh, but just make sure that when you tell me what I'm doing wrong, you also want to teach me the right way and know that with the limited resources that I have, sometimes it's not possible to do everything the 100% correct way. So the first thing I can kind of think of is obviously this setup is less than ideal and uh, the environment that I am is not going to be the best environment for uh, painting. But I don't have access to a painting booth and that's something that I'm going to have to live with um, knowing that my result won't be 100%. But with my past project and the Fender, uh, I definitely would say that it's 90-95% there. And the only imperfections that I see in that Fender are actually imperfections that were already a part of the Fender before I even started painting it. And so this Fender being new, it should be uh, a lot better and it should give me the results that I want. After Scotch Bright Pad, one more quick wipe down and then we're going to start painting. I'm actually not going to get it painted by a professional because at the end of the day, uh, I want to save some money and I also want to learn um, this pretty much an art uh, and I want to learn to do it for myself. So this here is the uh, can of spray paint that I'm using. I got it off eBay and it's custom mix. The original mix that I had was a little bit too dark and so they gave me a lighter version that they had in their database. First coat is just going to be a light coat. I'm going to try and move this camera further back so it doesn't get any overspray on it. So the first coat is just going to be a very light coat just to tack it up. So you'll see with certain spray cans, you want to take a look at it because some spray cans like to be sprayed vertically but most like to be sprayed horizontally and so when you spray vertically the pattern just doesn't come out right so make sure that you're spraying horizontally at all times so it has pretty good coverage right now i obviously still have my paint mask on so that's why i sound like that but one thing i am beginning to worry about is the fact that this panel was primered in black and so I'm not really sure if that'll actually make the base coat darker than it should be because that's my whole problem I want it to be lighter because the original paint that I used was too dark 
So if you guys could comment below, let me know if I need to basically start this project over and start with the light colored primer. And if that will actually make a difference, then I'll have to do it from the beginning. But uh, let me know. If it's not going to make a difference, then I'm going to continue with this project. But I definitely don't want to make any mistakes right now along the way. Alright guys, I'll see you guys next time in the next episode.